Welcome to this lesson in Primavera P6. Here we're going to be learning how to create resources and then also assign resources to our project activities. We're working with this very simple schedule, which is a community health center project. And I've done a lot of videos as a build up to this particular session. So please, this is a series. Do well to watch the previous sessions or the previous videos, and then you'll have a deeper insight into where we are at the moment. So we had already done the, the WBS, the activities, the duration, and in the last lesson, we took a look at how to create the predecessors. So in this lesson, we're now gonna take a look at how to create the resources. So if you take a look at the lower part of this particular schedule, you can see the names of our resources. There are only four resources here. So we have Mike, we have Sarah, we have Tom, and then we have Jane. So we're gonna create those four resources. And then once we've been able to create them, we shall also assign them to our project activities, just like we have in the table within this particular section. So once again, I welcome you to my class. So I'm gonna dive in into my Primavera P6 and then create the resources. So this was where we left it the last time after we have added the activities as well as their dependencies. Next is to create the resource. To create the resource, all we need to do is we go to the resources page within the directory. So in the directory, you see the icon that looks like the human icon, and that's actually the icon that will take us to the resources page. Aside from that, don't also forget that these icons, you can also see them from the menu. Because sometimes for some persons, they might have displaced these icons here in the directory. You can also access them from your enterprise menu. So you can see when I go to enterprise, you can also click on resources. So if I click on resources from my enterprise, it takes me to the resources page, okay? And let me close this page, and then I'll also open it from the directory. So if I click on resources in the directory, again, notice it brings me straight to the resources page. But at the moment, you might not be seeing anything currently displayed, especially if this is your first time of coming to the resources page. The reason is because your display is not showing all resources. Let me change my display so you see exactly what I'm talking about. So if I click on display, and then I go to filter by and select current project resources. So if you notice when I select current project resources, nothing shows up here. Reason is because this project doesn't have any resource assigned yet. So most times this is like the default view when you're opening your resources page for the first time. Mavera will take you straight to the current project resources display. That's also not a problem because anytime you want to add a resource, it will take you to all resources display page as well. So you really don't need to bother about it. And if you've been following what I've been saying, remember, I've been trying to keep it simple. Like I told you right-clicking will literally save your life. So again, if you want to add a resource, once you're in the resource page, just right-click within the empty space and then click on the Add button. So if you notice, once you do that, it will say in order to add a resource, the filter will be changed to display all resources, which is exactly what I mentioned earlier. Just click on OK. So when you click on OK, it's going to display all the resources. So you can see the new resource that we have added. That's this one showing arrow and then new resource. So what I do is I simply terminate my project because I usually like to create like a resource category so I can put all my resources under that very category so that it doesn't get modeled up in all the other resources that you may have in the schedule. So remember the community health center project, that's the project we're working on. Under the resource ID, I put my CHC. Then of course, under the resource name, and I'm typing, community health center, and then I hit enter. So like I explained earlier on, since I don't want this to be modeled up, all I need to do is I move it left. You can see if you check the, the command bar, which is the bar by the left, you're gonna see the move left button. So I use the move left button to move it left. Then I use the move up button to move it to the very top. So you can see now it has come as a number one item here at the top. So this is now where I need to add those my resources, four of them. So what do I do? Uh, again, right click and add. So that's the first one. I go back again to that my first column, my first line, which is community health center. And then I right click and add again for my second resource, add again for my third resource. And then I repeat the same process for my fourth resource. 
So let me quickly check the brief to see the names of these, my resources. So I have Mike, Sarah, Tom, Jane. Mike, Sarah, Tom, and Jane. All right, so the first one is Mike. For the initials, I can use an M, and then I type in Mike. And the second one is Sarah. For the ID, I can put S, and then I type in Sarah. The third one is Tom. So here, under the resource ID, I put T, and I type in Tom. And the fourth one is Jane. So under the ID, I put in J, then I type in Jane. So with that, I would have been able to create those four resources that we have in that particular brief. So you can see it's that simple and straightforward. Uh, of course, there could be other details, uh, which you would see if you sign up in our full course, where we have other resource types, then also you have the roles, then also you have their units, then also you have their standard rate. But like I said, because we're working on a very simple schedule so that you understand the basics, and that's also what the instruction is. So if you notice, the instruction from this schedule is simply only mention the names of the resources, which is exactly what we are creating in this case. So we have added those resources. Next is to assign them. To assign them, we go back to the activities page. Again, remember, the activities page is already open, so I can simply click on it, or I can come to my directory and click on activities, whichever one you prefer. So it takes us back to the activities page. We're also going to add a column, which is a resources column. Remember, like I said earlier on, anytime I'm working on any particular process, I like to see it in my table. I also like to see it in my detail view. It helps me to be able to know when I'm beginning to make a mistake so that I could make adjustments where necessary. So I'm going to be adding another column, which is, of course, the resources column. So remember to add a column. You right-click within your table. Then you go to column. I showed this in the previous video. Then go to available options. Remember I told you I like to use the group and sort by function and then list. So I'm looking for resources. I scroll down to R where you have resources. So you can see resources here. Another trick I want to show you is in order to avoid using this move down and move up button when you are trying to position a particular column. Find out exactly where you want that column to be. For example, I want you to come after my predecessor's column. Remember, these ones are the, the columns that we already have in the table. So since I want my resources to come directly under the predecessor's column, I can click on the predecessor's column in this particular window. Then when I select my resource column and then I click on this Add to List button, if you notice, the resources column comes directly under the predecessor's column. So with that, I don't need to do the move up or move down in the list anymore because it goes straight to exactly where I want it to be. Then I click on OK. So once I click on OK, again, notice that I have my resources column showing up here right now within my table, which is exactly what you're seeing now. To so assign my resources, again, uh, because I told you I like to see it within the detail view, I click on resources tab in the detail view. Uh, reason again is because if I make a mistake, I can easily remove by clicking on this remove button, which of course I also show you to see how you can remove an error anytime one of course. To assign your resources, remember I like using the right click function. So I right click on any of these activities, I go to assign and then I select resources. So you notice that the assign resources window pops up. As usual, I like to drag this and keep it on my bottom right, and then also expand it just a little bit so I can see it a lot more clearly. So I now begin to assign. So I go back to my brief. Uh, within my brief, the activity C1000 is assigned to Mike, C1010, Sarah, the 1020 is Tom, while the C1030 is Jane. So I will also assign them in that particular order. So the activity C1000, which is site preparation, remember from the brief, this was assigned to Mike. So I select the C1000 from my table. Then I come to the assign resources window. I select Mike, and then I click on this little green assign button. So you notice Mike shows up here under the resources column. 
In this detail, it also shows up here that the resource for site preparation is Mike. Remember for excavation, excavation was assigned to Sarah. So I select excavation, here I select Sarah, and then I assign. Foundation lane is assigned to Tom. So I select foundation lane, here I select Tom, and then I assign. Utilities installation is assigned to Jane. And here I select utilities installation, then I select Jane, and then I assign. And then also, if you check the brief, the framework erection is assigned to Mike. So I select framework, I select Mike, and then I assign. While work construction is assigned to Sarah, so I select work construction and Sarah, and then I assign. Roofing is assigned to Tom, Tom, and then I assign. Electrical wiring chain, plumbing Mike, flooring Sarah. Painting Tom, and the last activity, which is final inspection, was assigned to Jane. Once I've done that, I simply click my close, and then I close the assign resources window. So here you can see that my resources have been populated, and it has also been assigned. How this particular lesson on how to create and assign resources was quite informative for you. Again, if you need a detailed course about how to use Primavera, you can book a one-on-one -on -one session by contacting me in the contact details below, or you can also buy any of our courses on Udemy, and you'll be grateful that you did. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more of these videos, and I'll see you in the next lesson. So in the next lesson, we're going to take a look at how to add the cost. If you take a look at the brief, you will notice that that's the very last thing, and that's the next thing we're going to be doing, which is assigning costs to our project. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the final lesson.